So, so far, all the computation we've done has operated only on numbers. And in the early days of computing, people thought of computers as super powerful calculators for doing computations like simulating nuclear weapons, computing ballistic tables, or breaking encryption, which was a little more than just arithmetic, but still was mostly about counting and doing simple arithmetic. We saw this quote from Grace Hopper earlier, talking about computers could only do arithmetic, and this is what people thought about computers in the 1940s and 1950s. But there's no reason to limit computers to that. They can operate on any kind of data we want, and it gets much more interesting when we operate on data besides just numbers. If we're going to build a search engine, most of the data we want to deal with is not numbers. It's the letters that are contained in web pages. And in Python, that's what we call a string. A string is just a sequence of characters surrounded by quotes. So here's an example of a string in Python. It starts with a single quote, has a sequence of characters, and anything we can type on the keyboard can be in a string, and ends with another single quote. The string is the sequence of characters between the single quotes. If we want, we can use double quotes instead. If we use double quotes, then the double quote starts the string. We can have a sequence of characters and a double quote that ends the string. The only requirement is that if we start the string with a single quote, it has to end with a single quote. If we start the string with a double quote, it has to end with a double quote. And that's actually a handy property because that means we can have the other kind of quote within our string. The string starts with a double quote. It contains a single quote inside it, but because we started with a double quote, that single quote doesn't end the string. That single quote is just like another character in the string. The string continues until the closing double quote. So let's try some things in the Python interpreter. So we can print a string, just like we can print a number. So here I'm printing the string hello. And when we run this, we see the output hello. It's printing hello. We don't see the single quotes as it prints but we know that it's a string that was printed. We can print a string with double quotes. And one thing to notice when you enter strings in the interpreter, the color is black now. Since it's an open string, it hasn't been finished. Once I type the final quote, that closes the string, the color changes to blue. So now when we run this, we have two prints, both that print hello. It looks the same both times. It doesn't matter if we use single quotes or double quotes around our string. Just to check everyone's paying attention, I'm going to try one more thing. Now I'm printing hello without the quotes. Try to see if you can guess what that will do. We won't make a quiz of this, but try to guess before I run it. Now that I run this, we see the result. We get a name error. The name hello is not defined. Without the quotes, this looks just like a variable. It's a name, but it's a variable that we didn't define. So when I try to use it, I get an error that the variable name hello is not defined. If I wanted to, I could define a variable named hello. Let's make hello refer to the string howdy. And now when I print hello, it works. I see the first two prints that printed hello. Now when I print the variable hello, well, that refers to the string howdy, and I see howdy as the result. We usually don't want our variables to start with capital letters. That's just a convention. So I'm going to change this back to a lowercase hello because it makes me feel uncomfortable to have a variable with a capital letter. There's no rule against that in Python. It's just a convention that we like to follow. 